What can be measured can be addressed. That's the point of the Global Gender Gap Index. We're trying to understand how countries are empowering women economically, politically, how much access they have to health, what kind of education they're receiving. Regardless of how rich a country is or how poor a country is, how equitably are they distributing the wealth and the opportunities that they do have between women and men. The world has closed 96% of health gaps, 93% of education gaps, 60% of economic participation gaps, and 21% of political empowerment gaps. Out of the 136 countries that we cover, Iceland comes up at the top and Yemen at the very bottom. Iceland has closed over 87% of its gender gap, whereas Yemen has only closed about 50%. The Nordic countries once again perform extremely well with all of them falling in the top 10. The Philippines, South Africa and Lesotho are three emerging markets that make it into the top 20. Out of the BRICS, Russia comes up at top, followed by Brazil, China and India towards the very bottom of the rankings. For some countries, the improvements are being driven by decreasing wage gaps. For others, it's being driven by greater numbers of female ministers. So we provide detailed country profiles in the report that point to where each of those changes are coming from. There are two tracks to gender equality in the world. They're the set of countries that are near the top that have closed health gaps, that have closed education gaps. In fact, some of them have reversed education gaps. The next frontier of gender equality depends on how they facilitate the division of labor at home versus the division of labor at work, and how quickly women are going to enter positions of economic leadership and political leadership. For countries that are towards the middle and towards the bottom of the rankings, there's a lot of work to be done in getting girls into primary, secondary, tertiary education for some countries. For others, while they've started to close the gaps on health and education, the next steps are about getting more women into the workforce. The good news is we are making progress, but very slowly.